Oh yeah. Here come the heaters. They're here. Shout outs to FedEx, making the run. Can't wait to crack off into this and show you guys what we got here. Upgrading and replacing every rod that I own. One thing that we have to do before we get too far into this video is I need to go get all the rods and reels out of the boat. You will see why. Need the key. See where I'm going with this? You might see where I'm going with this. But it is so hot out here in the garage. Check out this visual representation of where we are and where we're going. If you want to fill the bar, sub the channel, help me hit 100,000. We're on our way to 20 right now, but we got big goals, big plans for the future. And yeah, let's just see how fast we can fill this bad boy up. Let's go, man. Let's fill this bar. If you want to help fill the bar, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now currently sitting at 10,000. I figured why stop at 20, 30, 40? Nah, let's just go ahead, set the big goal now. I want that silver play button. I'm coming for that silver play button. You hear me, YouTube? Yee. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel since the last video. A lot of you guys hopping on board. I appreciate you. And this one, we're doing some updates to the rod and reel arsenal. If you haven't seen my previous unboxing, go back and watch that. Unbox three new reels. I have a fourth on the way. I have five sitting here on the table and I have a big box sitting on the ground behind the camera. I'm about to pull it over here. We're gonna crack off into this bad boy and we're gonna set ourselves up some new rigs for out there on the water. Let's get into this. One thing that I'm dealing with right now is some partly cloudy weather, so you may see some intermittent lighting changes, fluctuations in the picture. Nothing I can really do about that. I'll try to adjust the camera on the fly as I go to keep things looking as steady and level as possible, but chances are you're gonna see some shade roll in and out of the garage here. I'm filming this out in the garage and the clouds are rolling in front of the sun. Things are happening, but that's not the point. The point of this video is to crack off into this giant box and set up these reels on these new rods. Let's go. I got no room. I'm gonna make room for this beast. This is a big freaking box, man. Big shout outs and supreme love to everybody over there at Six Sense Fishing. Without them, this would not be possible. So let's go ahead and get off into this box, man. Mega heater rod unboxing. Extremely hot, so forgive me if I start dripping. Heaters only. Heaters only. <sighs> yes. Where'd the knife go? See how fast you can lose stuff right in front of your face? so supremely excited we got two massive bundles of rods over here and we're just gonna crack off into this one right here first and we'll go through the lineup and show you guys what I got a lot of you guys have been asking about the different models of rods from six cents fishing how do I like this rod what do I think of a Millican rod what do I think of this rod or that rod to be honest with you I haven't been able to genuinely answer those questions because I haven't fished with them all. 
but I think things are about to change and I'm gonna be educated a whole lot more on what's going on with every one of these rods. Let's start off with this one, man. This is one that you guys ask about. You see it? 7.2, medium heavy, moderate fast, Millican series. Shout outs to Ben Millican. Dude has been an awesome supporter of what we're doing over here. And I'm excited to finally get my hands on one of these Millican series rods. 7.2, medium heavy, moderate fast. Check her out. Here's a look. The MFR. The MFR. Sweet, dude. Sweet. Ooh, I like that blue on there. That's sweet. The blue. Oh, it's a shiny, like anodized blue. Got the six on the butt. I'll make sure I show you guys each one of these up close and personal once we get them all open. But uh, extremely excited to have a Millican series rod finally in the lineup. 7.2, medium, heavy, moderate, fast action. Let's set this one over to the side and get into the next rod. What we got next? Which one is this? Ooh, this is one of their higher end rods right here. This is the 7.3 Heavy Sensory Series. Oh man, that's a real nice uh, sleeve that this thing comes in. Sweet, sweet. Damage control, making sure your rods arrive in perfect condition. Come on, let me have it, let me see you. I'm really excited about this one. I've wanted one of these Sensory Series rods for a while, and now I'm finally going to get my hands on one. If I can get it out of the dang sleeve, hang on a second. There she goes, there she goes, she broke loose. Oh, whoa, dudes, holy bejesus. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is sick. Look at this, man, it's got that crown on top. Put a crown on it, shout outs to Ritz. Dude, look at this thing, look at this thing. 7.3 Heavy Sensory Series. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a heater. I mean, this thing is awesome. That's some heat right there. NanoSense Nano Graphene Matrix Technology. 7.3 Heavy, 15 to 30 pound line, 3 eighths to one and one half ounce weight baits. Dude, it's definitely one of the ones that I'm most excited about to add to the lineup. The Sensory Series, some of that higher end stuff over there at team six. Let's set this off to the side and get into another one. That's one Millican and one sensory. Extremely excited, dude. Oh, here's another sensory rod right here. Might ought to save that one. What's this one? All right, let's crack off into this one right here. The gray sleeve. I know what this one is. You guys probably recognize this sleeve from my previous video where I unboxed two of these rods. The Lux series. Love my Lux series rods, love the moderate action. This is the 611 medium heavy moderate fast Lux series rod from the six. And I'm stoked to add another one to the collection. I told you guys I love these rods and we're coming in hot with all six sense heaters. Freaking dripping dudes. 611 medium heavy moderate fast 10 to 20 pound line quarter ounce to five eighths ounce baits. It's got that nice moderate backbone. Here's a look at that stick real quick. Like I said, I'll give you guys a really good look at all these rods in this video at some point, for sure, up close and personal. But there's three Six Sense heaters already. Super stoked on this, hit the mother load, and uh, yeah, couldn't be more excited to have these nice rods on deck. Got another Sensory Series here, and then another higher end rod. I'm gonna go ahead and set them to the side. We'll open those in a minute, and I'm gonna crack into the other bundle that's down here on the end. First things first, cut the tape. Cut the bubble wrap. Let's go. Heaters only. What do we got? We got three more rods here. Let go. Oh, there's a nice breeze. That feels good. It's probably like 90 something degrees in here. I'm not complaining. I'll take the heat over the cold any day. All right, next up, like I told you guys, man, I love the Lux series. So I picked out Another Lux. This one is on the other end of the spectrum. It's a really long rod, heavy action, moderate fast. This is the eight foot, the big dog, made for throwing their deep diving crankbaits so you can really get down there deep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at this bad boy. Eight foot, heavy, moderate fast for half ounce to two ounce baits. This rod right here was specifically designed for throwing swim baits, umbrella rigs, your Alabama rigs, and large profile deep diving crankbaits such as the 300 DD, the Cloud 9 C25, the super big lip stuff that's gonna get down there way deep. This rod right here is gonna help you do it. Currently don't really have anything that I like that will handle baits like that. So having this on board, we'll be able to throw that deep stuff when they're down there deep. The eight foot heavy action, moderate fast Lux series. Nice, 
the big dog. Set them to the side carefully and roll on to the next one. Next up, it's another Millican rod. This one right here, I've heard really good things about, and I got this rod right here for throwing swim baits. Big stuff like the Flow Glider 130. This rod right here is gonna help us do it. This is the Millican MFR swim bait rod. 7.9, extra heavy, fast action. Thank you for your support, MFR Ben Millican. Even says it on the tag, that's cool. Yeah, heard really good things about the MFR swim bait rod. Stoked to have this. We got a deep diving crankbait rod. We got the big MFR swim bait rod. We got another MFR, the 7.2 medium heavy moderate fast. It's gonna be good for throwing things like chatterbaits. We got the 611 medium heavy moderate fast Lux series rod. It's gonna be great for stuff like the Curve 55, the C10, stuff like that. Those mid range crankbaits. This big swim bait rod, gonna be great for throwing the large profile stuff. And then, of course, we can't forget about the 7.3 heavy sensory series rod, which is super nice. One of their higher end pieces, and I'm extremely excited to add that to the lineup. I have some really nice rods sitting right here on the table. I'll pull them all back into frame in just a second so you guys can see, but we have a couple more to unwrap here. Get some of this trash out of my way, dude. Good problems to have. Too many rods on deck. That's good problems to have, man. Super excited. All right, what's up next? We got another Lux Series rod. Man, I wasn't lying to you guys when I told you that I absolutely love the Lux Series. These are the rods that I will have the most of from Six Cents. This one right here, 7-Eleven, medium heavy, moderate fast the Cloud 9 Cranker. It's specifically designed for throwing the Cloud 9 crankbaits. Hey, get out of here, there's a fly buzzing around. 7-Eleven, medium heavy, moderate fast. Another rod designed to help me with cranking and the moderate fast needs. Stoked to have it in the lineup. Oh, dude, the action on this thing. Ooh, that feels so nice. There's another look at that Lux Series rod. Sorry if I'm not showing you all these up close. Like I said, stay tuned. You'll see them all, I promise. That right there is gonna be a ripper for throwing the Cloud9 series, man, the Cloud9 Cranker. That's what they call it on the website. So I uh, couldn't resist, had to pick one of these bad boys up. Got a bunch of Cloud9s up there on the wall and none of the rods that I had previously really worked really well for throwing those crankbaits. So this right here is gonna be perfect. We still have two more rods to go. Eight rods in this video, guys. Let's open up the second of this series that we're gonna take a look at in this video. The seven foot, four inch, medium heavy, sensory series. Let's go, let's go. I really, the sensory rods come in a really nice like sleeve, dude. I'm really digging the sleeve that's on these rods. Taking extreme care. Oh man, yeah, seven foot, four inch, medium heavy. And this thing is uh, looking pretty sick. And as always, taking supreme care to make sure that your rods arrive undamaged with a foam tip cover. Look at this thing, man. Just as sick as the other one. Got that crown on the top. Put a crown on it. 7.4 medium heavy sensory series. Let's see if I can get it turned around a little bit without banging into anything. There you go. You guys see it. You see it. I'll show you again up close before this video is over. But I'm supremely jacked on all these rods, guys. Seven amazing rods added to the lineup just then. And we still have one more to go. This one right here, man. The 7.3 Medium Heavy Unicorn. I have the 7.3 Heavy Unicorn, and it is an incredible rod, so I decided to go ahead and add the second model to the lineup, the 7.3 Medium Heavy Unicorn. Let's crack off into this thing and take a look. 7.3 Medium Heavy Unicorn. This is the highest end rod that they currently offer. It's even, this one's still shrink wrapped. Cool, let's go ahead and tear that off of there. and I'll let you guys check this bad boy out. Once again, supreme care from the six. But look at this heater, man. Look at this heater. 7.3 medium heavy unicorn heater coming in hot. Again, just like the sensory series, has that awesome crown on there. But when you're locking your reel down, it's probably my favorite part of the whole rod right there. That's such a nice touch. Custom split grip handle, nice comfortable grips. Got that touch of white on there with the silver and black. As always, got the six on the butt. Heaters only from the six, man. Real quick, I gotta mention, if you guys are interested in picking up a new fishing rod, you can save 10% off of any one of these or all of these. SixCentsFishing.com, use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna save you money on everything on the website. Look at this giant pile of rod sleeves. 
That's not even all of them, dude. Yeah. This is pretty epic, man. Eight new rods to add to the lineup. I'm sure you guys figured out as you saw me taking the reels off of my older rods there. We're going full six cents. That's right. I'm now using exclusively six cents rods. I've been so supremely impressed with every one that I've used so far that I wanted to really dive in to the six cents lineups and cover all my bases. So now I have a team six rod for pretty much practically every technique of fishing that we could wanna do. Swim baiting, deep cranking, mid-level cranking, shallow cranking, top water, chatter baits, swim jigging, Texas rigging, frogging, pitching, flipping, heavy cover stuff. I literally have a rod now to cover every single one of those bases and I could not be more grateful to have this stuff, man. This is awesome. Give you guys a quick look at the handful while still being extremely careful with all the rods. Look at them. Look at them. Whoo, man. All right. So now the time has come to start taking these reels and applying them to these rods. Figure out what we want to put where. Figure out what we still need a reel for. Probably be ordering a couple more reels, looks like. And yeah, uh, good problems to have. Good problems to have. Super stoked on this. Huge shout outs and thank you to everybody over there at Six Sense Fishing for helping make this happen. Without them, we could not do this. Best believe, guys, those guys are incredible supporters of what we do over here on this channel. And without them, it would not happen. So, supreme thank yous, much love and appreciation to the guys over at Six Sense. Yeah, let's just start rigging these things up. I don't even know where to start. Look at this spider web of rod sleeves. So cool, so cool, man. I think I'm going to save the two big swim bait rods for some reels that I have coming. Gosh, good problems to have, man, good problems to have. Carefully pick these up, set them here so we can see a little better. So the 7.9 extra heavy swim bait rod, I'm gonna set that back down here. MF or series, I don't know if I showed you guys that one, but there she be. Nice, big, burly swim bait rod as well as eight foot moderate fast set those aside i have some new reels coming for those some lower gear ratio stuff more specifically designed for that type of fishing stay tuned if you're interested to see what i went with sub the channel now so you don't miss that content but it's time to lace these bad boys up with some heaters okay for the 611 medium moderate corrado dc with straight fluorocarbon on there that was set up on my previous cranking rod so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it on here since i will be using the 611 for cranking Maybe a little bit of top water as well. Super nice. And there's a look at that. 611, medium heavy, moderate fast with the Shimano Corrado DC. Next up, got an SLX here. I think I'm gonna strap it onto this MFR. I know Ben uh, has been using the SLX DCs recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this bad boy on this 72 medium heavy, moderate fast MFR rod, Millican series. Got that green and blue action going on. I ain't mad at it. I think that looks sick. And the reel matches the nice little blue anodized touches that they have going on over here. Nice. Next, another Corrado DC. And that's gonna have to go on this 73 heavy sensory series rod. Check that out, sensory heater with a Corrado DC on there. Not bad, not bad at all. 7.3 heavy, mega money. I have no room, I have nowhere to put these things, man. Good problems to have. Gonna have to wait on a reel for this one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set that 7.11 medium heavy, moderate fast off to the side. And I'm gonna throw the SLX DC onto 7.4 medium heavy sensory series so hot out here dude there is a look at the slx on the sensory that looks pretty slick dude nice seven foot four inch medium heavy with an slx dc on there <laughs> running out of room good problems to have last but not least this is the new dc brand new dc not even spooled up yet that i opened in the last video and it's going on the unicorn it's going on the unicorn baby the unicorn strapped up with a corrado dc Looking pretty sick. Looking pretty sick. Excited to have another one of these. Seven foot three inch heavy that I currently have is amazing. You can feel your line moving through the water. It's so sensitive. This right here, their high stand rod, but you can still save a lot of money by ordering one of these bad boys with my code JR10. Snag yourself one. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to shoot all these at one time, but I'm kind of just flabbergasted. A little bit speechless right now, guys. Super blessed. Extremely fortunate to have all these really nice rods. Gonna need to get them rigged up figure out what baits I want to throw on each. And I'm also still short three 
reels. So I'm gonna have to figure out something. Gonna need some more reels. Got one on the way, so that means we'll still need to order two reels. If you guys have any suggestions, throw them down below in the comments on what reels you think I should get for swim bait fishing and deep cranking. Those are, the, those are the two things I'm looking at, you know. I know uh, probably a lower gear ratio, something with a little bit more power, maybe Corrado Ks, I don't know. You guys know me, I love Shimano, so keep it within the Shimano framework and we should be good to go. Just let me know what reels you would suggest, what gear ratio you would suggest for big swim bait fishing and deep cranking. Yeah, I'm pretty freaking flabbergasted, dude. I don't even know where to set these out, how to set these out. I might go inside to do that. And then we'll just go ahead and rig them up in the next video. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, sub the channel now. Help us raise this bar up to 100,000. That's the goal. And I would love to have you guys on board to help us make that happen. And I'm gonna give you one quick look at these rods one more time before we end the video. And that'll be it for this one. So let's get these things laid out somewhere safely and take a closer look. All right, guys, so this is pretty incredible. I've brought every rod and reel inside, including the two Lux Series rods that you saw me unbox in the previous video. Just so you guys can take a look here at what we've got going on. I have now officially upgraded and replaced every rod on the boat with six cents fishing heaters. We'll run back through the lineup one more time. Sensory Series 7.4 medium heavy. Gonna be a great Texas rigging rod. Ooh. Next, the Sensory 7.3 Heavy, specifically designed for throwing the Divine Swim Jigs, one of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite bait from Sixth Sense. Next, my first MFR Millican Series, seven foot, two inch, medium heavy, moderate fast. That's gonna be my chatterbait heater right there, or anytime I need a seven foot plus range moderate action rod. That'll probably be the go-to. Next up, Supreme Heaters, top of the line, their most expensive line, the Unicorn, seven foot, three inch, medium heavy. I already had the heavy, we're adding the medium heavy to the lineup. Next up, the six foot, 11 inch, medium heavy, moderate fast Lux series. Excited about this one. I have the six nine medium moderate in the boat and I love it. This right here is gonna be awesome for throwing those mid-sized square bills, the Curve 55, or even some top water, maybe some weightless action. I don't know, you can go on the website and read a little bit more about what each of these rods was specifically designed for. I'm gonna have to play it by ear and figure it out as I go on some of these, but I'm extremely excited to get out there on the water and do so. I will be bringing you guys along with me, so if you wanna see me use this stuff, make sure you sub the channel. Next up, the seven foot, five inch, heavy, fast Lux series rod. That's gonna be great for pitching, flipping, even frogging if you wanted to go a little bit lighter, but I also have the seven foot, five inch, extra heavy, fast, and that rod right there is specifically designed for frogging, got the Corrado K on there. Dudes, and it doesn't even end there. It doesn't even end there. We got two more Lux Series rods, the 711 Medium Heavy Moderate Action, the Cloud Nine Cranker, designed specifically for throwing the Cloud Nine crankbaits. I have the eight foot heavy, moderate fast. That's made for throwing stuff like the 300 DD, the 250 DD, the super deep diving stuff, A rigs and swim baits, as well as the Millican Series, seven foot, nine inch, extra heavy fast swim bait rod. That'll be great for that Flow Glider 130 that we've yet to throw. Gonna have to put some reels on these. These are already laced up. I have two more six cents fishing rods in the boat. The Unicorn, seven foot four inch heavy, as well as that six nine medium moderate. And yeah, I couldn't be more excited to get out there and use these rods with you guys. There it is guys. Upgrading and replacing every rod that I own. That being said, if you guys are in the market for some Dobbins Furies, I have some available and I will be getting rid of them for the low. If you are local to the Austin area and you're interested in some Dobbins Furies, let me know. I will hook you up for a steal of a deal. There it was, guys. There's a quick rundown of all the new rods. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you're interested in seeing what I lace those things up with, what baits I put on each one, make sure you sub to the channel. You catch all my future content going live very, very soon. I try to put out new videos multiple times a week on this channel, and I would love to have you guys riding along with us over here. Help us hit that 100K. Let's fill this bad boy up. Once I get my new reels in, I will be doing a complete rod and reel arsenal video. I'll show you the ones I have in the boat, plus those in there, break down every single one and show you what I'm using them for. Hopefully I'll get out on the water with those things really soon. Stay tuned for that. We'll be using everything out there on Beetlejuice ASAP. I cannot wait to get out there and start fishing with this stuff, putting it to work. Got some Dobbins and some St. Croix right here. If you're interested and you're local to the Austin area, hit me up. I will cut you a steal of a deal on these rods. I can't give them away, but I will sell them for very cheap. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching along. Shout outs to Six Cents 
fishing if you're interested in picking up any of these rods for yourself sixcentsfishing.com jr10 for the win use my code jr10 at checkout you're gonna save 10 percent off your entire order so if you load up on everything that you saw in this video that's massive savings good deal much love to everybody over there at the six one more time they support us incredibly over here on the channel without them we could not do what we're doing and without you we could not do what we're doing so you know what to do stay tuned stick around i hope you're all staying safe sane and healthy out there in this crazy world that we live in but i think that's going to do it for this one i'm going to wrap it up and i'll see you guys on the next one Thank you.